Hey, what's good, fam? It's Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com coming to you from beautiful Tuscaloosa, Alabama after day one of the NFL draft. And let's start it off by just talking about the fact that Alabama started off the NFL draft in style Thursday night as it tied Miami's record of six first round selections since 2004. Okay, so opening up the NFL draft, Jalen Waddell kicks off things for the Alabama Crimson Tide. He was selected number six by the Miami Dolphins where he will be reunited with Tua Tungvaloa. We already got a taste of that connection at the college level. Cannot wait to see what they can do on Sunday. I would assume that Tua had a heavy influence on picking Jalen Waddle. Then at number nine, the Denver Broncos selected Patrick Sertan the second. He'll be reunited with Jerry Judy. Obviously, Jerry Judy worked out well for the Denver Broncos. And now Patrick Sertan and Jerry Judy can continue to go one-on-one against each other at practice. Such a great combination from the defensive and offensive side of the ball. Then at number 10, Alabama's Devontae Smith, a.k.a. the Slim Reaper, a.k.a. the Heisman Trophy winner, went to the Philadelphia Eagles, where he will be reunited with quarterback Jalen Hurts. Now, this is an interesting stat. Devontae Smith is the first player that has been drafted by the Eagles under the Saban era. Remember, we talked about that recently, being the fact that Jalen Hurts, even though he's playing with the Eagles, he was drafted from the Oklahoma Sooners. Alabama has also now sent four wide receivers to the NFL in the last two NFL drafts, right? You got Devontae Smith, you got Jalen Waddle, you got Jerry Judy, and you got Henry Ruggs. Then at number 15, the New England Patriots took Mac Jones. Now, he's going to be reunited with Damian Harris, one of his good friends, both played at Alabama, Damian Harris, one of his mentors, as Mac Jones was coming up. This is seems like a great fit because when you look at Mac Jones, And you look to the fact that he could have went to the 49ers. I think a lot of people were hoping that he went to the Niners just because of the fact that he'd be the third pick. You look at the current quarterback situation. You got Cam Newton. Let me ask you this. Do you think Cam Newton is going to be the quarterback by the end of the season for the Patriots? I think that'd probably be up for debate. So I think Mac Jones going with the Patriots, that's going to be a good fit for him. Small nugget on that pick. That's Bill Belichick's highest pick ever at the quarterback position, taking Mac Jones. Number 17, it was Alex Otherwood taking off the board, going to the Las Vegas Raiders. He's going to be reunited with Josh Jacob. And then at number 24, Najee Harris was taken by the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's going to be reunited with Minka Fitzpatrick and Isaiah Bugs. Najee Harris is the first running back from Alabama taken in the first round since Joshua Jacobs, who went in round one, pick number 24 in 2019 to the Raiders. Now, interesting of note that Christian Barmore, who attended the draft in Cleveland, Ohio, was not selected in the first round. So here's a look at who's still available entering day two and day three of the NFL draft. You got defensive lineman Christian Barmore, offensive lineman Landon Dickerson, linebacker Dylan Moses, offensive lineman Deontay Brown, tight end Miller Forrestal, and long snapper Thomas Fletcher. A couple miscellaneous notes from the NFL draft. As mentioned, Alabama, it tied Miami's record of sending six guys to the first round. That record was first established way back in 2004. The Crimson Tide accounted for 18% of the picks in this year's first round draft. That included three selections inside the top 10 in five in the top 20. You got to look at the overall picture from Nick Saban, right? Why Alabama? You win on the field. What Nick Saban does in recruiting is obviously incredible, but Nick Saban has now has 39 players that have been selected in the first round while he's been coaching at Alabama. Pretty incredible. And we'll leave you with this, okay? That class of 2017 that came in, how good were they? Well, let's run through the numbers real quick. Look at all these guys, and we sorted it basically by the top pick all the way to the the bottom pick from the class of 2017. We'll start at the top. Tua Tungvaloa, quarterback, drafted round one, pick five by the Dolphins. Devontae Smith, wide receiver, round one, pick ten by the Eagles. Jedrick Wills, round one, pick ten by the Browns. Henry Ruggs, wide receiver, round one, pick twelve by the Raiders. Jerry Judy, wide receiver, round one, pick fifteen by the Broncos. Mac Jones, quarterback, round one, pick fifteen by the Patriots. Alex Leatherwood, offensive lineman, round one, pick seventeen by the Raiders. And then Najee Harris, running back, And then running back, Najee Harris, round one, pick 24 by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pretty incredible to see what Alabama was able to do with that class of 2017, right? Built by Bama. 
All right, stay with our coverage back on BamaInsider.com. My name is Kyle Henderson. This is just a recap of day one in the NFL draft. When people ask why Alabama, that's why Alabama. Please like, subscribe, and think about becoming a member right here on our YouTube channel. Just $2.99 to support the cause of our business model right here on BamaInsider.com. Have a beautiful weekend. We'll catch you soon back at BamaInsider.com.